So to create a 3D ball with a pattern like this, we need to create two things. First we need to create a pattern and then we need to create a ball that we want to apply our pattern onto. So we will start by creating our pattern, but if you only want to know how to create a 3D ball, you can simply skip ahead by using the chapters down below. So to create our pattern, first we need to select the rectangle tool, then while holding down the shift key, draw a square like this. And for me, I will make the square 400 pixels. But you can choose the size you want and you can always scale it up and down later if you want to. Then pick the stroke color and disable the stroke. Then select the fill. And in my case, I have created a seamless pattern swatch like this. And seamless pattern swatches is in my opinion the best way to add a pattern onto a 3D object. But if you don't want a seamless pattern swatch, you can also just simply draw something inside the square. This will work as well. If you want to know how to create this exact seamless pattern swatch, you can click the video link on the end card in the end of the video. Now my pattern is too big, so to scale it down, I simply right click, go to transform, then go to transform each, and scale it down using these two sliders. You would have to experiment what scale is the best for your pattern, because when we apply the pattern onto the object, we actually need to upscale the pattern a little bit, so the pattern will actually get larger again when it's applied to the object. Therefore, it is a bit tricky to get the scale right at the first time. Remember to uncheck transform objects, or else the bounding box is scaling as well. When you're happy with the pattern, simply click OK. So here we have our pattern. But to apply our pattern to our object, we need to turn it into a symbol. And to do this, simply click on the symbols panel. If it isn't open, you can go to window and find it right here. Now simply grab your pattern and drop it into the symbols panel and click OK. And if you made your pattern by drawing a lot of objects inside the square, remember to select everything before dragging it into the symbols panel. Then let's put this pattern to the side and now we can start creating our 3D ball. To create the 3D ball, we need to select the ellipse tool. Then hold down the shift key to create a circle. And make this circle the same size as your square. But we don't want to already apply the pattern to the circle. So simply use a random solid color instead. If you don't want to apply the pattern to the ball, you add the color that you want to your circle. If you want to apply the pattern, this color doesn't matter. So right now our ball is only a circle, but we need to turn it into a 3D ball. So to do this, we want to use 3D revolve to revolve our object into a ball. But we can't actually revolve this circle into a ball, because revolving a circle will only turn it into a donut. So what we want to do before we can revolve it, is to turn this into half a circle. There's many different ways to do this, but I will pick the pen tool, click on this anchor point right here to delete it, Hold down the ALT key and drag these handles all the way into these anchor points right here. And here we have a half circle. Now with this half circle selected, we can go to Effect, go to 3D and choose Revolve. Here we can click the Preview button and here we have our 3D ball. If you just want the 3D ball without the pattern, you can simply click OK right here and you're done. If you want to apply the pattern, you want to click on this button right here that says Map Art. Now we can go to this drop down right here and select our symbol. Then expand this window right here. And while holding down the shift key, expand the pattern to fill out the entire box. Then go to this box right here and check invisible geometry. This deletes the color that we chose for our circle, making sure that it doesn't shine through the ball. If this isn't checked, sometimes you can see the color that you chose around the border. If you have a powerful computer, you can check this shade artwork to add shade to the ball. My computer isn't powerful, so I will just get an error like this. When you're done, simply click OK. Now in this menu right here, we can rotate the ball and this way we can line up the pattern exactly how we want. You can also use preset positions like this. When you're done, simply click OK. And here we have our 3D ball with a pattern. Thank you for watching.